In our last video, we discussed zirconia in general, and there's several different brands available, but let's specifically discuss Katana made by Karari Narutaki, because their block is revolutionary. What makes it special and different, and why is it so popular? Most dental manufacturers purchase raw zirconia from a third party, usually one large ceramic manufacturer. Karari Narutaki has done something different, and they use their own proprietary original zirconia powder formulation. And they're unique because they actually accurately control the chemical and physical makeup of this powder, the yttrium concentration, and the parameters such as particle size and the sintering temperature. Karare was able to use different concentrations of pigment-containing zirconia powder to make the discs and the blocks multichromatic. And thus, they were the first dental manufacturer to introduce a multi-layered zirconia as a commercial product in 2013. In 2017, Katana zirconia blocks were introduced to chair-side applications. And then in 2022, the Katana zirconia one block arrived with improved strength, aesthetics, and optimization for the prime mill for super fast milling in a short sintering time. So Katana zirconia one has four layers. It's got an enamel layer, two transitional layers, and a body or a dentin layer. They figured out how to allow each powder layer to seamlessly blend so that there's no demarcation between the different layers. In addition, the itchier concentration remains similar in all the layers so that the strength of the zirconia doesn't deviate from layer to layer. The Katana Zirconia One Block can be dry milled at super fast in your prime mill in under five minutes. It's also kinder on the burrs because the green state is softer. As you can see, even compared to the previous iteration, it's almost doubling the burr life. Sintering time has decreased. It's 90 minutes in the laboratory, but it's 18 minutes in your office. But just remember, if the thickness of your material is gonna be over six millimeters, sintering time may take a little bit longer. So the original Katana block also came in three sizes. Katana Zirconia One changed that to streamline inventory. We now just have crown and we have bridge. The blocks have the wonderful flexibility still that you can increase or decrease the chroma and the translucency by positioning the restoration in the block where you like. If you want higher translucency, move it up higher. If you want more chroma, move it down lower. So you get this amazing product with Katana Zirconia One. We've got great strength. We've got a short sintering time. We've got extended burr life. We can streamline our inventory and all of this just lets us do chair side fabrication of really beautiful tooth color restorations. All the blocks are available in the 14 shades that are based on the Vita Classic shades. But shades, let's talk about shades. We've all heard sometimes, well, our shade that came out doesn't really match the shade tab that we chose. So how do we work around that for zirconia? So there's a couple of factors. One is zirconia one was actually formulated to deliver the specific shade if you were going to glaze it. So select your target shade, A2, if it's an A2, when you're gonna be glazing your restoration. If you're gonna polish only, we wanna do one level brighter because polishing actually darkens it a little bit. If the walls of our restoration are a little bit thicker, you might wanna go one shade brighter also because it's gonna make it a little bit darker due to the thickness. And we wanna select one level darker when we're doing posteriors because zirconia tends to be a little bit brighter in the back due to the refraction index. And one last thing is you gotta pay attention to the abutment. If your stump shade is really dark, we actually wanna go one level brighter because this product actually is a little bit more translucent. Here's an example from Mike Scramstad showing glazed versus polished. Number 14 was glazed, number 13 was polished, and you can see the color discrepancy. So just keep those in mind when you're working on your restorations. So how does Katana compare to lithium disilicate? Why use Katana? Well, one, there's less overmilling. Because of the shrinkage factor, we decrease the overmilling problems. There's comparable aesthetics, looks pretty close. We get better margins because of the shrinkage factor also, and also because we're working with that softer state. 50% more strength. It's just definitely a stronger material. And we have less tooth reduction needed. So traditionally, regular zirconian Emax or lithium disilicate require at least one millimeter thickness of material. Here with Katana One and the posteriors, we now only need 0 0.8. It's just a faster workflow too. You can 
design, mill, center your restoration much faster than if you're doing a lithium disilicate. So I hope this video gets you really excited about Katana and for your next case. In our next video, let's go over some tips and tricks for ideal preparation design. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.